Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hey, guess what? This is the first time for me. Just to mess with a cast iron square tub. Interesting enough, it had actually, to show you the age of it, it had a brass overflow that somebody had already cut at an angle. And uh, we took that out and we put a plastic overflow. Now, run this side over here. The supports, of course, you can use the front. I also has some right here. But more importantly, in the back, one is here and one is there. So I've got to be able to make decisions based on the circumstances. So let me show you what circumstances I've got. Uh, this house uh, is a really neat house with a really neat lady who inherited it. Her father made it. It's got a oak six by six beams on the bottom and then the ever so like four to eight feet for support and then beams on top of that. Really neat house, uh, a lot of oak. That being said, I don't want to jackhammer the concrete, change the situation for uh, the budget big time. If, if I had to set that thing on the ground down here, I would have to jackhammer all this, take everything out. And then over here is a beam, six inches. I'd have to go underneath it, change. It would be terribly expensive. Um, instead with, of jackhammering, I'm going to put a two two by fours here and set the edge of the tub on those two bys. That'll give me, and I'll put two bys here. Remember, I had that one at an angle over here, and this is actually going to slide against there, and it'll be about five inches gap here. A lot of things to consider. So, when I know that, it's it, it falls out supports right here. I also need to be able to put in a back that can be removed to work on this or to replace this. What I did not take you with me on is all the plumbing we did for the washer and dryer, the electrical that we did for the washer and dryer. We had to go underneath the staircase, take up the flooring, run it over into the panel, take off the siding to get, well, I'll show you that, build a closet and all that. Um, but this is the journey you're going to see, is us trying to lift that 200 and whatever, maybe 250 pound uh, tub and put it in here. Another thing to consider here, uh, people, the guys working with me say, hey, why don't we just run right into that? The problem with that is, if this ever gets clogged up, I can't get to it with that tub sitting over top of it. So I got leery of that. Plus the drain is over here. So how would I get into there without a lot of hassle? So the, it'll come across here with room to reach in here and connect everything up over into you. This is the drain for the, the washer. And then I'm going to go across over the top of the beam over here, go over the top. And then in, in that transition from here to there, I'll end up putting a trap. Hi, man. So, that's the journey. We've uh, put the wood in place, 
Make sure it's level because the tub itself has the legs that are already got a slope to it. So we had to make sure this was level with this or this is level with that. And there is an angle on there so it, it will sit here. This is for the wall that's going to go behind. But that will be after we get the thing in place. We sealed up the drain so that when the trap dries out, the uh, smell doesn't come up through from the septic tank, which you have to think about all those things. But you don't want that sewer smell coming up out of a dried trap. You'll sometimes smell that in convenience stores. You know, you, they get a a weird bad smell and uh, sometimes grocery stores I've had to tell them hey you guys need to go get the floor drains pour water in those floor drains because if they're not used and you don't get water in it the trap dries out and the sewer smell comes up through that floor drain and that's what that is a floor drain and we've sealed it now we've got that big old tub which I suggest weighs about 200 pounds and uh, we've slid it up to the right behind where Clay is with the camera. We're fixing to try to put it in. And he, there's no room for a camera guy and two guys to put this in at the same time. So we'll show you when we get through. All right. You're going to spin that around, all right? This right here is going against this wall, right? This right here goes straight back. Oh! I to drop on my toe. You better get over there on the other side, brother. <laughs> so we can lower it down right here and be okay, I think. You just don't want you getting hurt, because your mother's heavy. Oh, you don't know. First, then we'll slide it to the front. Okay. Whoops. That's it. That limb board moved, by the way. These two right here moved. We can pull it back a little bit if you want. Well, I'm flush right here on the corner, and I'm flush. I'm sticking over down there, so I don't need to. You need to come this way a little bit. Just a little bit with the corner, maybe. Oh, too much. That's all right. Push it against the wall. That's good. Let me stand in it. Oh. You can stand it. If it holds you, it'll hold her. That's what, that'll be the, the go-to rule. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> be like a chimpanzee in there taking a shower. Bar soap in both hands. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Now comes the hard part. Well, it's in place. We're all out of breath. Let's go to lunch. 
Get Today's smart. lunch alarm went off while I go. Yep. Either that or he gets up at noon every day. Everything looks pretty good. Now we got So I wanted to see you to see what I've done. Can you get this down here so we can see? We've got the drain coming over here. And then it goes over here where the washer connects in. And then we built this wall. Over top of it. Then this wall. Is lower than this ledge. And still hits up against it. And we've got a wall put in here. I'm going to let Retta in. Okay. So I've got to close the back door. And then these boards will be below. This one has to be cut off a little bit more. But we'll have a 2 by right here. That will be below here. And then we put hardy board. It'll be even with that. And then ceramic tile on top of that that she bought. White tile. This panel will be able to come out, and I'll show you. This is what it looks like. The back side of it's got some braces on it. And uh, we're going to put hardy board on that. that will have hardy board on it and the uh, water from the all that will run to here that lip will keep it from getting underneath the to the framing and we'll bring the ceramic tile to about the same area and then we'll caulk all this and caulk all that we're also going to put hardy board here and ceramic here up to this so here we go it's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.